and now you're going to die. What's up YouTube, DC5 Rapey and today I'm bringing you guys my first Black Ops 2 video on the map standoff. I'm using the Vector, which is an absolute beast of a gun. Do recommend men you guys do use that gun. But um, first of all, Black Ops. Holy shit, it's here, but hang on. Me and Fun Size Bro are gonna have an awkward moment having sex in that haystack, but neck minute, fuck it. But yeah, this is my opening route for this map. Um, I, I always like going this way because there's always someone there, so take that in into consideration for next time that you guys are playing this map. So, alright, so I'm using the fucking Vector, and this gun, it's pretty rape source, but there is a special combination, which I might class as overpowered, might title this video, overpowered class setup, because this gun is absolutely nuts, like, when I first jumped on to play Black Ops 2, I was like, I was, like, it's all new territory, and you're like, what the fuck's going on? You don't really know what to use, what to do, or anything like that. So, I noticed that people kept getting the jump on me, and, um, they kept shooting me before I shoot them. And I'm used to having, like, a pretty decent connection, and since, uh, Modern Warfare 3, like, you know, I'm used to just raping cunts or whatever. But as soon as the game came out, I was like, man, I keep dying, and I've got no chance to freaking, um... To, to counter that and try and kill them back because uh, in Black, in Modern Warfare 3 I could sort of get the jump on people but I do f I found a class that does help that uh, does give you that jump on every everyone else so I'm gonna tell you the class it's I'll put it up on screen now uh, it's the Vector the K10 with the fast mag quick draw and the adjustable stock now the reason why I'm using these three um, attachments on the gun is because quick draw, obviously, you pull your gun up quicker, and that gives you that split second that you guys might need to um, to win a gunfight. It's like, obviously, whoever draws their gun quicker, um, whoever catches people off mid sprint, is gonna win the gunfight, and it's gonna give the enemy a, a disadvantage against um, against you because obviously you got the jump on them, and they're gonna fucking lose, and they're gonna get raped by DC5 rapages class. But yeah, uh, obviously, using quick draw, fast mag because. There is no sleight of hand perk. Uh, it's now just an attachment. It's like uh, it's like uh, dual mags from He's from gone. Black Ops One, and yeah, it, it really do, it helps you a lot. It, it it is sleight of hand in a nutshell, but you do have to jeopardize like maybe a perk or some stun grenades or something like that to get three attachments on your gun, because I do also rem uh, recommend using the stock. The stock is sort of like stalker. So if you're coming from Modern Warfare Three, it's a good way to transition into Black Ops is by because everyone in Modern Warfare 3, I used to always use Stalker. It used to be one of my favorite perks, just to aim around corners and bring your gun up a bit quicker and strafe while you're actually shooting. So see how I'm strafing right there? That is strafing and shooting. Oh yeah, and I did get my puppies. I forgot to say that. Let's go, Kuja! Is that ass up there? Mark J, fucking, I just had a spastic attack. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Pretty hyped up, just come back from work and I'm pretty keen to play Black Ops, but I'm also going out tonight, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't play Black Ops. I'm probably one game away from prestiging, doing my first prestige, which it wasn't that uh it wasn't that hard to sort of uh, rank up because in Black Ops you do have to play the objective to be some sort of decent player, and that guy gets me on my streak. What streak was I on? I was on a 22 streak, so that's pretty decent, pretty decent. This is not a very good gameplay, but something average and something that I can talk with not nice long length. But uh, what was I saying? I don't know, but <laughs> fuck me dead, I'm messing this up, but it doesn't matter. Black Ops 2 is here. I want to hear your guys' opinions on the game. Um, any wacky class setups that you guys have figured out that's pretty overpowered now look at that shit look at that uh, I think that's a lightning strike they think that's pretty good I was using that before um, I don't know I might be using now no I'm using spy plane uh, what's that the silent chopper thing whatever that is it's like a it's it, that's a pretty good uh, pretty good kill streak too it does get you a few kills uh, it's sort of like the Cobra but it's um you can't see it on the UAV and it is pretty stealthy I think it's a stealth chopper or something there you go that's stealth chopper whatever but um and of course I'm using the puppies because I don't know, it was my, I just unlocked it and I wanted to use it, I wanted to see what the puppies were like. To be honest, the puppies aren't that good, I think they'll be much better on a smaller map like Nuke, Nuke Town or I don't know the other map's names and stuff yet, I'm not too familiar with the game as such like that, but hopefully soon I'll figure out everything, all the little tricks, so if you guys do have any little tricks that you want me want me to tell the um, in, you guys in my next video or something like that, 
uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. So don't forget to try out that class. Like if you're struggling, make sure you try it out. So you want the fast mag, quick draw, and ad adjustable stock on your weapon attachment. Now for your perks, I normally just run with lightweight, toughness, dexterity. It's usually um, my go-to sort of setup. I'm not really a big fan on like uh, hardline and stuff like that, but you can use it to get your streaks if that's what you're there for. But me personally, at the beginning of COD games, I don't really want to go for too high of streaks. Like I'll put one high one out there just to see if I get something. But um, yeah, use low streaks. Uh, normally, spy plane counter or something like that, and, or uh, lightning strike. That will rank you up pretty quick because you can get those things pretty often. But yeah, obviously. You want to sort of play the objective as much as you can to try and rank up and try and rank up the guns. But yeah, I, like I said, I'm not using um, Hardline or anything like that because I, I do want to get better gun skill because it's, when you adjust to a new Call of Duty, you want to be able to have that gun skill not just rely on your... Um, let me fuck around with a sentry gun here. Um, you don't want to just rely on your... What do you call it? Your kill streaks like you did in Black Ops 2. Uh, Black Ops 1. So there you have it, guys. This is pretty much the gameplay done and dusted. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this game. I, I'm really enjoying Black Ops. I don't know. What are your guys' opinions? Don't forget to leave them below. Leave any class setups that you guys might suggest for me to try out because I'm really keen to, you know, try new guns and all that sort of stuff. Get, I'm really getting in, getting the feel for Black Ops. It's su it's such a good game. Well balanced and everything. Congratulations, Treyarch, motherfuckers. I fucking love you. Finally giving us a game that's fucking not, not stupid, not low. No fucking death streaks. No bullshit. Uh, it's pretty legit, apart from the connection issues that PS3's been having lately, that's been pissing me off, but anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like, because it does help me out a lot, and I'll catch you guys later, peace motherfucker!